Okay, now we're at post-trib moment number 10, and here we're going to have Steve Anderson continue from the last video that he made, and here he, this guy, what he does is he builds what's called straw man arguments. He erects a false platform, a false argument, and then he builds off of that. He never proved his first point that John Nelson Darby created the rapture theory, but he has his viewer believe that, and then he moves along and says, well, since Darby created the rapture, now let's judge Darby and say that he's lost. So let's watch this. So who began preaching the pre-tribulation rapture anyway? Well, the first preacher on record to have ever taught the pre-tribulation rapture was a man by the name of John Nelson Darby. Okay, I documented in the last video that that was not at all true. There were three different sources back before 400 AD that all taught a pre-tribulation rapture. He is a liar. John Nelson Darby did not come up with the rapture. Now John Nelson Darby started preaching this in the 1830s and he's known as the father of modern dispensationalism. What's interesting about him is that later on he would go on to put out his own version of the Bible. It's called the Darby translation. And in this version he severely corrupted God's word. He removed entire verses, removed entire phrases from the Bible. He uh, uh, tampered with key doctrines, like for example, Luke 2.33. He calls Joseph, Jesus' father, basically attacking the doctrine of the deity of Jesus Christ and the virgin birth, which the King James Bible carefully teaches us in Luke chapter 2, verse 33. Okay, let me pause for a minute there. Now this is true, okay? John Nelson Darby did make a corrupted edition of Scripture, and I'm against that myself. All right, I'm not saying that Darby was a great man. I'm not. Okay, but see, it's based off of a false premise that Darby was the one who created the rapture. That's not true. But he also tampered with passages that have to do with the end times. Second Thessalonians chapter two, one of the most damning scriptures to the pre-tribulation doctrine. No, it isn't. I already refuted that. Watch the first video. He, he completely rewrote it to prop up his doctrine and to hide the fact that the Bible warns us about this deception. And so I can guarantee you one thing. John Nelson Darby's burning in hell right now because the Bible says this in Revelation 22, verse 18. Okay, now he goes on and he reads a verse there in Revelation chapter 22 stating that if you add to or remove the words, then you know, your, name is, your part's taken out of the book of life. And I agree with that. Anybody who perverts scripture, they're lost. Okay, sorry. Um, but see, again, it's based on this false premise that Darby created the rapture. So what he does is he says, well, Darby created the rapture, and now Darby's damned to hell. So leads you, leading you to believe that anybody who teaches a pre-trib rapture is also damned to hell. Or at least he doesn't come right out and say it, but he insinuates that. Again, another false argument. 